Hello everybody, it's Adam Hurd with 973 Ramp and we are looking at part three of the video series on a cascade rigged elevator um, and this is just going to be looking at how do you chain drive the first stage. So I talked in the past that chain driving the first stage is probably the easiest option for teams at large and we're going to look at how we do that today. So in theory you already know about the bearing setup, you already know about excuse me, you already know about rigging the cascade stage and all you need to know is how do I make this black stage go up and down. So you can see I've modeled two sprockets with chain in between and I put a little red block on there to represent some fixed part of the chain. You can see you move the sprocket and that block goes down. That's using a gear mate. So I think everyone can understand that if I have these two sprockets and I move the chain I can get the chain to go up and down. So then all you have to do and I'll leave this up to your imagination, is mate some portion of the chain to your carriage. I mean, you could make a block to clamp it, you could bolt through the chain, you could probably even get away with a whole bunch of zip ties, that'd be a horrible idea though, but literally any method to attach some of the chain to your second stage will work. Obviously, the more the secure, the better. And now, when you turn the sprocket, your second stage will go up. And remember, it's not modeled properly here, and that the cascade ratio isn't happening, but from the previous videos you remember that if this was modeled correctly in terms of mates, it's it's not metal modeled incorrectly in terms of design, as this moves an inch so would this uh, based on that cascade rigging. So you've now made a cascade elevator powered by chain and you'll notice I didn't detail this at all but I mean you could have some variance with the shaft coming out and if you know people need more information on this they could ask and you know, maybe down here you have a Versa Planetary or you have a whole another gearbox or something. Um, I'd like to think people can handle figuring out how to drive that sprocket, but if not, let me know, and we can do that for you. So, yep, um, that is how you would use chain to drive the first stage of a cascade elevator, and this is something I would strongly endorse if uh, if an elevator is something you want to do this season. I think for someone who's never done an elevator before, first wrapping their head around stuff, you definitely want to do cascade over continuous. It's much less tedious. And I definitely think you want to use chain for the first stage as opposed to timing belt or cable or doing rack and pinion like we did. So, yep, I hope this was useful for some of you guys, and have a good kickoff tomorrow.